Welcome to the Loaded Cannon, yeah, and uh, what can I say, really, really disappointing, really, really poor performance today, the word is sloppy, every single reaction that you watch, every single conversation that you have that is going to talk about this game today is going to have the word sloppy in it, word of the day, it was such a sloppy performance, and I think that, you know, what I saw from that sloppiness was um, that that sort of intensity, the importance of, of the games now has just kind of left the team. And that's that's how that sloppiness comes in. No one's at 100% anymore because what's there to play for? You don't need to be at 100% anymore. And I know at the start of the game, yes, we were still mathematically in the title race. But obviously, you know, we all know you've got to be to delusional levels if you think that Arsenal realistically had a chance of winning the league. So um, I think that's, that's ju that just showed. It was just sloppiness that crept out of the fact that the game didn't matter as much for Arsenal, but it certainly mattered for Nottingham Forest to um, wrap up survival. And that's what they did. They were better than us. They deserved it. Congratulations are in order to Nottingham Forest, actually, because everyone thought they were going to go down when they first came up and um, much like Arsenal no one thought Arsenal were going to be in a title race so they're two teams that have um, overachieved this season compared to the pre-season predictions but only one team is happy you know because because Nottingham Forest overachieved and survived but Arsenal overachieved but have this feeling that we could have done more and, and we could have overachieved even more by winning a title that we have just conceded in such uninspiring fashion. That's what upsets me about the end to our season. You know, the hammering at Brighton followed by this. I can't believe this is the same team that went and put in such an inspired, brilliant uh, performance where we dug so deep and showed so much resilience against Newcastle away of all teams, Champions League chasing Newcastle away from home. And then we go and do what we did against Brighton and Nottingham Forest. It's just, um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, that new sort of Newcastle performance, actually, I thought, you know what? That filled me with pride. And I thought, that shows me that this team is actually a proper team and is here to compete again next season. But then Brighton and this game, you think to yourself, bloody hell, hold on a minute. But, but actually, do you know what? I'm not going to let the last two games or even our recent form prejudice my view of the season as a whole because for the vast, vast majority of the season, Arsenal were really, really good. And I do think Arsenal will be there or thereabouts next year and will compete. Um, it might not be as good of a title challenge as it was this year. It might not be a title challenge. Uh, it might not result in a title challenge. Who knows? But, you know, who knows? We might even go and win the league. Who the hell knows? But I think we'll be there roughly and I think we'll get top four. But uh, I have to admit, I am really disappointed with the fact that I wanted to at least end this season with pride in the performances and that has been lost but I think that you know it's just got to us the pressure's got to us and the 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 knowing that we have thrown this league away has got to us you know when you're going to win a league you ideally want to do it at your home ground if you're not going to do it at your home ground you want to do it away from home, a rival, you know, something that goes down in history and, and gives you a bit of enjoyment. If, if not, then, you know, fine, you take it, you just want to play, you know, you take whatever you get, but you just want to play. You want to be on the pitch when you're in the league. You want to have done it after bagging a win and securing the three points that lead you to that league. And then you have the trophy there, you have the celebrations. Man City have won it, not even playing. And that, that's what I didn't want Arsenal to do. I did not want Arsenal to gift the league to Man City. But in a way, it might be so appropriate because that's the story of the season. We were eight points clear. And in effect, we have kind of gifted the league to Man City. We weren't able to keep up our early season form. And, um, you know, at one point it was all in our hands and we slipped. We did, to an extent, bottle it. I, I'm not going to say it's a with bottle jobs or anything like that. But yeah, that is part of it. We didn't have the bottle to to see out the, the season and live with that pressure with Man City chasing us. And that's fine by me. Well, it's not fine, obviously, but it's understandable. And that is part of football. I don't think Arsenal completely embarrassed themselves or anything. We put up a really, really good title, title challenge. And 
we we came second to a team that's now two games away from a treble and and a team that has um, won the Premier League three seasons in a row. Man City are an incredible team. If you don't know that for yourself, then where were you when they battered Madrid 4-0? So I am disappointed that we've just kind of given it, we've handed it to Man City, at least keep them honest, at least make them earn it. You know, I felt that when we were on top, Man City always made sure that we had pressure. And as soon as they went on top, we never, ever even tested them to see how they would do under the pressure. We just gifted the league to them. So, yeah, I'm very disappointed. It doesn't feel nice after such a good season to win nothing and to end the season uh, with such little pride. Um, one game left. I just hope that we play Wolves and actually give the home fans something to sing about because we, we need to end this season on high. It just doesn't feel right to go out like this. Looking at the game today, as I said, sloppy. Erdegaard for their goal, very, very sloppy pass. And that wasn't the only one. Obviously, that's the one we're focused on because um, it led to the goal. But also, Xhaka, at the start of the second half, very sloppy, gave the ball away. They had a chance at goal. Even Gabriel, he was sloppy in terms of an off-the-ball off foul that he should have got a yellow card for with a, with a ref played advantage and brought it back. He should have got a yellow card and subsequently did get a yellow card for another sort of sloppy duel. So he could have been sent off. Um, it was it was just it was just really really poor. But you know, even Ben White and Gabriel. Remember when Gabriel tried to pass it back to Ramsdale? Or Ben White couldn't get out of the way, and Gibbs White had a chance where where he hit the side netting. Again, sloppy, 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 sloppy. That was just the story of the day. And um, even the referee was sloppy. You know, Gabriel Jesus. He does get pulled. There's an arm on the shoulder. He gets tugged. He goes down. Doesn't even go to VAR. I mean, I'm not going to blame the refs by any stretch because, you know, we lost the game ourselves today. But even that sloppy. How can that not go to VAR? Why does that not get a look? I think that was a foul. And that I, it looked like it was on the line or in the box. So that should be a penalty. And then the game is completely different. And then what annoys me is that their player, Yates, in like the 89th minute, not even a shadow touched him. Not even a shadow. He just throws himself to the ground. And he gets the free kick. And you just think to yourself, my God, you know, we bemoan the refereeing and the consistency in this league. Um, it just does my head in. But that's not the story of the game today. The story of the game is Arsenal were sloppy. But Nottingham Forest fought and they had more desire than we did. And, you know, I want to give Nottingham Forest a bit of credit because I spoke about game management last week and how it's becoming a bit of a joke. Uh, Newcastle are the best at it in the league. Arsenal, I'd say, are a close second. Um, so we do it more than most. I readily admit that. But actually, I want to give Nottingham Forest credit because they actually didn't do that to the extent that I thought. You know, when they were 1-0 up going into the last 15 minutes, I thought to myself, oh, here we go. It's going to be a foul every other minute. Players going down. But actually, Nottingham Forest just kept on playing. And I admire that. Uh, I, I can't wait till they introduce a stop clock or do something about this to make sure games have got a better flow because it's becoming like... Awful. You saw in the Europa League midweek how ridiculous it's become if you were watching those games. So, yeah, the sooner they put that right, the better. But well done, Nottingham Forest, for not doing that game management nonsense to a ridiculous degree. And also, well done, Nottingham Forest, for showing loyalty to your manager as well. That's one thing that made me want Nottingham Forest to survive in this league because every other team has got rid of their manager. And Nottingham Forest, it's quite rare that they stick with the manager that gets them up from the championship. Usually, they're very quick. Um, you know, owners and, and clubs to get rid of that guy. But I like the fact that Nottingham Forest have done it. The last thing I'm going to end on is to say, well done, Man City. Look, you um, you showed us what it's all about when it comes to churning your way to a league title. They never, ever seem to care that they weren't in first place for a long, long part of the season. I actually think that second place position would have suited Arsenal a lot, lot more to take the pressure off of us. But Man City, boy, when that pressure arrived, they have been flawless. They have been not just a machine, but a high performance, absolutely just unbreakable machine. And you have to hand it to them. Hopefully the boys can pick themselves up for the Wolves game and end the season with a bit of pride and a decent performance. But congratulations, Man City. Congratulations, Nottingham Forest. Both at the different ends of the table, but celebrating nonetheless. And I will see you for my five at five tomorrow. Slightly despondent, but hey, what can you do? Take care.